Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, uh, Ronan, Norma, Berenice, and Veralis. And Diego is just getting into the class. Well, we finally got into the last date of the basic level of English, module number three. So tonight is the night in which we're going to uh, finish with all the topics that we were assigned to cover during this period. Uh, well, it's been um, a really nice experience, okay, to be live working with you and you know tonight we're in church of um completing some information which is quite important we're gonna do it in a couple of minutes okay so we're gonna wait for the for the rest of this of the participants so that we can start well i think well, it will be really nice if we have some review about what we started, what we started yesterday. Okay, good evening, Jonathan. Welcome. I can see Merlin over there. Good evening, Merlin. Good. Let us wait a little bit more and meanwhile some the other people just get into the into the into the class. We're gonna have some review about what we started uh, to talk yesterday. We have Ronan. Hello, Ronan. Good evening, Ronan. Hope everything's all right. And I hope you have had a great day today. Merlin says, good evening to everybody. She's in the chat. Hope you do not have any problem with uh, your microphone or with your camera, okay? Well, let me see. I have 11 people connected. I will check list attendance just to start. And later, We're going to complete, so we're going to provide certain information to evaluate the English course. Okay, Aidan, are you there? Belen? Daniel? Hello, present. Hello, hello. Edgar? Gladys? Jonathan? Present teacher. Okay, Jose Daniel? Juan Fernando, María Elba, Mario Cristóbal, Berenice, Presentation. Merlin, Present Teacher, Michael, Aníbal, Silmara. Present teacher. Okay, Ronald. Teresa. Vera Liz. And Chancy. Okay, Edgar said he's present. Also, Ronan, Veralis is 
gonna be as a listener tonight. Well, welcome, people. Let me see, I have, okay, 12 people connected. I need to have the majority of the group connected into the class so that we can take the survey. I will share the info. All right. So we're gonna work in this exercise so that so that we can wait for the rest. Okay, I think we're gonna take the survey at. 8.30, no, 8.20, 20 minutes after 8. Uh, well, yesterday, let me see if it is the topic, get and go. Get and go was the topic uh, we studied yesterday and we learned something about it, right? Some people tend to get confused with when using get and go, but yesterday we were like practicing a lot, okay? And we were like to identify the way to use get and go. It is not complicated, but it is important to know uh, the way to use them. So over here, you are gonna be in charge of uh, choosing get or go for the following statements, okay? And uh, it says, um, type the best answer, get or go. Well, we have, excuse me, how can I, to the bus station, get or go? Get. Get. Okay, how can I get to the bus station? That trainer is going to, to the production plant after the meeting. Get or go? Get or go? Get. Get, all right. Get. The train is going to get to the production plant. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, do you remember the, the meaning of the word get? Mm. Go. Okay, well, here is get. You said get, right? Okay. And now. Get. Yeah, we're hello, here. Now, Richard, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Alex. Said, for example, in this part, Sophie, how do you to work? Sophie, by car. What is the, the, the missing expression there? Go. Go. Mm -hmm. So, like this one? Go. How do you go to work? Like we're going to check it, right? Just to notice if that is the best option. I'm going to call you when I to the city hall. Get. Get. Yeah. I'm going to call you when I get to the city hall. The library is really near. You can there by foot. Go get. Go, go. or get. Go. Say go. Go. We're going to see go. if it does work. Let's see if we are just clear about it. So the first one, it says uh, get. Excuse mm -hmm. me, how can I get to the bus station? Simple. The trainer is gonna get to the to the to the production plant after the meeting. Mm -hmm. Alex mm -hmm. said, Sophie, how do you how do you now do here you? as you can see? It can be both, right? But you need to be clear, right? How do you, you, you go to go? Both are okay, right? So we, you chose go. But you can uh, you can also say, hey, Sophie, how do you get to work? How do you get to work? Yesterday, I, I asked that.
question, right? How do you get a word? But you can say, how do you go to work? Okay? And the lady said, by car. I'm going to drive. I'm going to call I... you when I get to the get city to the hall. City hall. The library mm -hmm. is really near to Okay, you can get there by foot. You can go there by foot. Both are okay. So I, I think was enough with this. Getting go in tonight. The topic is about business travel. Business travel, right? And I told you to investigate about the topic in advance. Business travel. This is our topic. So I hope that you got ready with some information to present in the class. Tonight is the last uh, session together. You see number 20, uh, we are almost done with it. And then we have an exercise over here. But first off, let me know if you investigate till something about the topic, which is business travel. All right, business travel, who investigated about the topic? Merlin? Hi, teacher. Okay, tell us mm -hmm. about the info you got. Business travel. Mm -hmm. I investigate a little. Um, uh, assuming that I go to an uh, a congress. Okay. Mm. To a congress. Okay. Um. Uh, the question. The question. Uh, uh, how can I prepare? Prepare to go to an. Uh, a Congress. Mm. Uh, fairs and check the date and the place. And then find information on, on how to get there. Um, choose the means of transport. If if I go I going by bus, plane, or or train, etc. Um, with anticipation anticipation, um, I have I have to buy that ticket uh, with anticipa anticipation. Um, about the questions, um, uh, de, de qué llevar, creo que sí, esa pregunta la, la había puesto usted también. Um, I, I also have to investigate the climate of the country uh, to know what kind of clothes uh, I should I I should wear, um, and only that teacher. Clap for you, Merlin. I really like the way you uh, presented the information. Okay, uh, you have improved pronunciation, fluency, and now you provide clearer ideas. I, I I I highly appreciate you do your best effort. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? I heard Michael was like just repeating some words, like practicing some <laughs> some expressions there. Now he's going to surprise me. I hmm. thought. And I'll investigate a little bit the bashing of travel. 
uh, and say when this when they starting to work uh sustainable travel programs, the first step is audit activity that take during a trip. Uh, could we provide data and emission from planes, trains, and cars? It is also necessary to know a little about hotel certification. Uh, the typically hotels with these credentials, how, for example, whether regu regulators, shower heads, uh, or toilets, energy efficient light and laundry program, and shorter fight produce a higher amount of greenhouse uh, gas emission per pass per passengers compared to longer routes. And if you usually go on bus in the street, you remember that having inf informal, you always have very polite with the CEO, a manager, secretary, human resource, and staff. We always have to be punctuality, responsibility, excellence, honesty, simplicity, and loyalty in our company. And that's it, teacher. Great, Michael. Congratulations. Congrats. Uh, I know and I hope that you can identify your progress because you are doing uh, things quite well. Well, listen, we're going to make a, a parenthesis. We're going to uh, pause the activity for a while. Vamos a, a detenernos un poco, porque okay, antes de escuchar a las demás eh, personas, a los demás compañeros, eh, vamos a, a completar lo de la encuesta, ¿ok? No sé si ustedes habían recibido algo en sus correos. Si no, pues de igual manera yo por en acá... El, les... En el WhatsApp. Ah, ok. En WhatsApp recibieron la información. En WhatsApp mandaron, sí. Perfecto. Entonces, como veo que ya la mayoría ya está conectada, vamos a trabajar en ello, ok. Recuérdense que cuando terminen de completar el, la encuesta, pues, por favor, compartan un una captura de pantalla que eh, ya ya lo ya lo completaron ok, ¿estamos listos? Yes, sir. ok, permítame que por acá tengo la info Okay, Thursday, August the 24th. Well, fortunately and unfortunately, <laughs> afortunadamente y desafortunadamente, el curso termina ahora. Afortunadamente porque ustedes, pues, están un pasito más en esta aventura. Y desafortunadamente porque pues quedamos en riesgo nuevamente de no volvernos a encontrar en los cursos. Pero este, veamos. Acá pues eh, tengo lo de la encuesta de satisfacción. Debemos um, tomar nota que la encuesta se llenará en conjunto. Ok, es lo que vamos a hacer en este momento durante la sesión de clases. Esperamos que, pues, logren integrarse los compañeros que aún faltan, puesto que es requisito llenar esta encuesta según las, los lineamientos de Insafor. Eh, espero que su decisión sea siempre firme, seguir adelante hasta culminar los, curso, los cursos que tengan pendientes y poder tener esa satisfacción de decir 
lo logré, ¿ok? Lo logré, aprendí. Salí adelante con los cursos, ¿ok? Fue muy difícil que parezca, en ocasiones pues yo los he notado cansaditos, eh, les soy sincero, en ocasiones yo también pues se me ha olvidado mi tacita de café y me he sentido un poquito eh, cansadito, pero eso no, gracias a Dios no nos ha, ha quitado la motivación, ¿verdad? Sí, Jan, sí, ya en un momento les envío el enlace, en caso no lo, no lo puedan visualizar en el grupo. Recuerden, es una encuesta de satisfacción. A nosotros nos interesa muchísimo lo que ustedes piensan. Lo que ustedes valoran de nuestro trabajo como, como equipo, pues es sumamente importante porque eh, de esa manera pues nosotros logramos eh, nuestros, nuestros compañeros también que están al tanto de, de sus reacciones, pues hacen un análisis de, de sus comentarios y en base a eso, pues, eso nos ayuda a crecer como, como equipo. Eh, en caso necesiten ver el enlace del video de qué es lo que vamos a desarrollar, no se lo comparto ahorita en el, en, el, en el chat. Ok, sé que ya hemos visto ese video como en dos ocasiones, pero eh, si todavía, pues, alguien no se siente como muy familiarizado con esta actividad, pues puede verlo. Al finalizar, como les decía, es necesario tomar una captura que compruebe el envío de la encuesta con su nombre completo, ¿ok? Importante, nombre completo, ¿ok? En el grupo de WhatsApp. Insafor Insa solo aceptará una vez el proceso. Deben de tener cuidado con la información ingresada. Los datos requeridos para llenar la encuesta serán proporcionados por su servidor. En este, nuestro último día de clases. Aquí están los datos. Entonces, eh, espero que tengamos claridad en lo que vamos a hacer. Y si no, pues de igual manera yo voy a ingresar a la encuesta para simular que estoy completando la encuesta. Creo que eso, eso también me ha funcionado mucho. Vale, comparto enlace ahorita en el chat para que todos podamos ingresar y nos vayamos directamente a la encuesta. Voy a dejar de compartir un minutito. Y ahora sí. Vale, ¿Estamos todos listos? ¿Estamos todos listos? ¿Are we ready now? Yes, we're ready. Ok, so we are ready. Ok, let's go over it. Here, acá la tenemos. Encuesta de satisfacción inglés. Se solicita su apoyo para completar la siguiente encuesta de satisfacción. La información proporcionada será utilizada por, in, por el INSAFOR para fines internos. Tenemos la primera parte. Ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca. En este momento lo comparto en el chat para que ustedes puedan copiarlo y pegarlo. Y no nos vayamos a equivocar al momento de, de digitar. El teacher sin paréntesis. Eh, sí, sí, el orden de inicio no tiene paréntesis. Okay. Orden de inicio no visualizo paréntesis. Por ahí se lo compartí. 
Y eso va en el primer, en sí, la primera sí, sí. pregunta. Correcto. Okay. Es mucho mejor copiarlo y pegarlo para no, no equivocarnos, ¿verdad? Con un numerito por ahí. Luego ingresa su nombre completo. Ok. Su correo electrónico. El punto 3, correo electrónico. Punto 4, número de celular. Número 5, sexo. Número 6, departamento de residencia. Ahí están las opciones múltiples por cada departamento. Número 7, seleccionar, escribir, perdón, el municipio. Municipio de residencia, número 7. Número 8, empresa donde usted trabaja. Y acá donde dice el punto 9 es el nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Se lo coloco acá por el chat. Inglés Corporativo Regal International S.A. de C.U.V. Luego tenemos el nombre del curso. Y en el punto número 11 deben valorar los aspectos relativos al curso. ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado para, el desarrollo, para desarrollar el curso? Se lo coloca por acá. Insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno o excelente. Teacher, ¿y el nombre del curso con él? El nombre del curso, inglés principiante módulo 3. Por ahí se los coloqué en el chat, Michael. Ok, ok. Se 
Segundo punto, ¿qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? ¿Cuál es su opinión de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? fecha en que se inició el curso veinticuatro de julio verdad Es el punto 12. Fecha en que estamos finalizando. Veinticuatro de agosto. Punto 14, ¿cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? curso? Y para cerrar, tenemos dos puntos más por acá. Mencione que otros cursos son de su interés. Y en la número 16, colocar comentarios. Ok, Fernando, thank you. Veo que ya varios terminaron. Teacher, hey, teacher. La... Diga, Michael. Eh, la 13 y la 14, ¿cuál sería? La 13 es la fecha de este día, 24 de agosto. La 14, usted elige... Eh, cuál es el nivel de satisfacción que usted tiene ya ahora que ya estamos finalizando el curso satisfecho o insatisfecho mm. sí, la... la 12 sería el, el inicio inicio 24 de julio junio Ok, Daniel, Gladys, ok, gracias. Estoy viendo ya las capturas de pantalla en el grupo de WhatsApp. Gracias, Jonathan. And that's it, okay?
voy a dejar de, de compartir porque creo que ya pues ya todos están por finalizar Okay, gracias, Chancy. Okay, Aníbal, I got your message. Okay, I'll do it just right now. Ok. Vamos a continuar con nuestras actividades, ¿ok? Creo que Aníbal, si tiene alguna pregunta, Aníbal, pues acá voy a estar para apoyarlo, ¿ok? Ok, people. So, well, we had, we already started with the presentations, right? So, tonight... You know, I have a lot of material to talk about what we uh, started. Let me see. And uh, I will give you some time just at the beginning. At, at the, you know, after presenting this info, hicimos una pausa para hacer la encuesta, completar la encuesta. Ahora voy a tomar un espacio para poder desarrollar algo que tengo preparado y antes de cerrar voy a volver a abrir el espacio para que ustedes puedan eh, lucirse con la información que investigaron. Ok. Thank you, Michael. Okay, just to have some review about vocabulary. Okay. Now here I have this vocabulary. And I have, for example, the expressions with go, gone, travel, check in, hire, change, stay, coach. Pack, make, book, or find. Okay? And then we have, for example, when you talk uh, about a restaurant or museum, what is the expression that, that, you, that you are, are going to use? Go on, a restaurant or museum, travel. A restaurant, a museum, check in, hire, change, take, pack, make, book, or find. What is the expression we need to use in order to complete? Go on. Go. 
Is it gone? So we're going to say it. Have you had chicken? Chicken. Is it Maybe. Chicken. Chicken. Uh, Somebody yeah. said gone. Some other person said chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay, later we are going to see if it is the best option. Vamos a, a ver al final si es la mejor Aquí. opción y si no nos interfiere con otras con otras partes acá. So we see sí. a, a reservation. Make a reservation. Make a reservation. Make a reservation. Make a reservation. A hotel room. Check in. Check in. Check in. Check in a that room. Oh, but, but you already took chicken. Uh, so lo van a cambiar. <laughs> check in a hotel room or check in a restaurant uh, or a museum? Now, question people, you can check can you check in a restaurant or a museum? Been fine. Go, go no. on. No, go on. Checking at an a airport. At museum. Okay. Just let me be clear about it. What is the best option for you here? A restaurant or a museum? <laughs> Are you going to continue with checking a hotel room? Mm, fine. Yeah. The fields uh, may be fine. Find a I restaurant cannot. or a museum. Like this, Michael? Yes. Okay, what about the car? Go on. Go on a car. Go on a car. Um, uh, take. Take you know, uh, catch. Travel by plane. Travel by plane. Oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So uh, travel by plane. You say go on, go on a car. You say go on a car. So you see, a hotel at a hot, at a hotel at an airport. Mm. Fine. At a hotel, at an airport. Fine. Is it fine? But fine, it's so here. Find a restaurant or a museum. Huh? In fine, put it up on a book. In fine, in the hotel at the airport. Uh, so fine is over here, Michael. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then a restaurant museum? It's a book. It's a book. So what about your suitcase or luggage? Take a catch. Hmm? Take. Take catch. Take your suitcase or luggage. Uh -huh. Money. Change money. Change. Change. Change money. Change money. A tour. I. Pack. Pack, pack a tour. Hire. Hire a, tu uh, a tour. 
No. No. Oh, yes. And finally, we have pack a train. Empaquemos el tren, entonces. <laughs> uh, creo, que, creo que hay que arreglar algo, ¿no? Sí, yes. Okay, so, let me know about it. The take a catch. Uh, a take, take a catch. Lo sacamos. Yes. Okay. In this pack, your suitcase and lunch. A uh, pack over there, pack over here. Yes. Okay. And then? And but they catch a train. train and bus to the airport. They or catch a train or bus to the airport. airport. No, yes. Are we done? Okay. Take money. Change. So we, we take money? Yes. Okay, so we take out once again, take and cut. And then we, we take out change. And we say take or catch money, like that one? Uh, no, but the, mm -hmm. the topic is uh, travel and business and travel. Business travel. Business travel. And the point is that they, I change money in different uh, countries. So you have maybe you have you have doubts with this too, then? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you change money, you take money, or you catch money. And the thing is that you cannot change a train, right, or a bus to the airport. Yes. So let me know about it then. Which one? Hire, teacher, hire a car and go on a tour. So now more doubts. Más dudas entonces. Creo que nos estamos enredando un poquito. Yes. Hagamos una cosa, porque no se ayudan con la web. Y busca, veamos si por ejemplo dice book a restaurant or a museum. Make a reservation, okay. check, check in a hotel room, go on a car, travel by plane, by bus, find a hotel, package it, your suitcase, and then. Hire. Es contratar, Batichi. Ajá. Por eso le decía hire a car y go on a tour. Como seguir en el tour. Ok. So en cambiamos con. Oh, seguimos sacando, seguimos sacando. Ok. <risa> ok, so Michael, ok. Go ahead. <risa> ya tenemos hire a car, right? What else? Book a hotel room. Book the check in. Instead of check in. Book. Okay. Book es reservar una habitación de hotel. Book a hotel room. Okay. Book. Ah, so. Wow. Let me see. So ah. check in. Check in then. Check in es re registrarse. Okay, okay, so Daniel say, hey, book a hotel room. Is that right, Daniel? Yes, yes, book ah, a okay, hotel so room. Yeah. Make a reservation, book a hotel room, hire a car, travel by plane, by bus, by train, uh -huh. find a hotel, an, imp, a, 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 an neighbor, 
Checking a, an airport. <laughs> yes, checking, checking at a hotel at an airport. Para que sacamos fans. No se chequea en el. Check in. Para un hotel en el airport. Ajá. Find your suitcase. Yes. Ok, yes. now yeah, ok. What else? Change money. Change money. Ok, we got back. Ya ah. lo habíamos puesto. Que okay, otra vez. Change money. Ah. Ah. Go on a tour. Go on a tour. Go on a tour. Yes, you go on a tour. And take catch. A, a catch a train uh bus to the airport. Fine. Take a train. I was to the uh -huh. and then we finally got find the restaurant and a Perfect. museum. We find let me see. Let me see if we can get the answer here. But let me see, because I remember I could see the answers here. So. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Clap. <laughs> <laughs> you got a team all right hey you know it took a little bit uh, uh it took some time tomó un poco de tiempo pero si ustedes se fijan trabajo en equipo es más efectivo es más yes. efectivo. y lo otro es no rendirse elegí ese ejercicio porque esperaba que lo lograran ok y lo lograron okay. Ten by everyone teacher Eso, eso es, nos ayuda eh, en ambos, en ambas vías. Pa, pa, hay un mensaje oculto ahí como decirles, hey, si luchamos o si luchan, porque en realidad yo no les ayudé, solo sacaba y metía palabras, pero ustedes sí lo lograron. Entonces, no importa cuán difícil parezca, pero siempre vamos a encontrarle la solución. Now, let's see. I have something else over here. I will stop sharing this. Well, I have some more vocabulary over here, but I will share it with you later, okay? Yeah, I will share with you later. Sorry, it's not this thing. Okay. So, you know, I hope, I hope that you have been working in this uh, PDF file. Hope you could finish it because it is important, right? So you see a lot of information that's, um, that we have been discussing, right? And, uh, you know, there, are, there is some vocabulary over here about uh, travel plans, okay? And I don't know if you, if you travel on business, do you travel on business? Now, do you? No, I do. No, you don't. No, do you? 
attend conferences and seminars? No, I don't. Do you go on trainings? Okay, check it. If you, if you, if you do so, check it. If you do, if you don't do it, now draw it across there. Do you visit clients? Do you attend uh, in company meetings? Do you visit agents or dealers? Do you visit manufacturing plants? Now check them, please. Now this is a page number. If I'm not mistaken, is the okay forty seven. Forty seven, okay. Now, what can you tell me about the information you got here, people? What can you tell me? Uh -huh. How would you present this information? Okay, volunteers. What can you tell me about the info, this info? The first reason may be to visit agents or dealers. Or dealers, uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing you do. When traveling, yes. okay, to visit mm. agents or dealers. What else? People in the group. Not to visit the manufacturing plant. Yeah. Ah, okay. So to visit manufacturing plants. But okay, what else? Do you attend conferences and seminars? Is it? Yes, it is. To go on, on training. To you, okay. To, to go on training. Clients. Okay, Michael. In my case, you visit the clients. In your case, you visit clients. Yes. Okay. What about the rest? Well, now I think we are, we are uh, familiarized, right, with the topic. Remember that we already started the information about Bitcoin too. Okay, we're supposed to write down five sentences about schedule of activities and use the vocabulary in a box. For example, when traveling, you need to make a reservation. When traveling, you need to request a hotel service. Also, you need to attend the business event and you need to check out, and also there's another word here, that's to stay. And now, yes, people, we're gonna get back to the homework, okay? Um, what should we know when traveling or, or when having business travels? Ahora sí, vamos a continuar con su presentación. What should we know about having business travels? What to do in a business travel? Okay, I hope everybody will participate, right? Or at least the majority. 
we started quite well, and we need to continue having those presentations. Uh huh. What should we know? What should we know about the information you investigated on business travel? Teacher. Hello, Fernando. My my investigation to business travel. Good. Is Definition is definition is when an employer leaves their many office to work is is where preparation list um, laptop material at work uniform um, uh, checking on the hotel and the personal travel is a is a travel a part of the personal reason not associate with employment or education about activity with the universe. Preparing list. Suitcase be comfortable clothes depend of the place. Preparativity to place where you are going. Shaluk attraction playments and hotel reservation. That's all, teacher. Quite good. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? Okay, let's take advantage of time. Aiden? Michael already participated. Norma? Daniel, Daniel, you already participated, right? Jansi? Okay, I have a part of. Uh, you, you, you're going to provide the info, Daniel. More info. Okay. <clears throat> okay. The business traveler or corporate trader segment encompasses people from various age groups and job positions. Not only are they demographic different, but even so, the main purpose of their trip is business. There are also various reasons why they might need to travel for work. What is important to business travelers? Broadly, the need of business travelers are connected privacy and space, convenience, efficiency, Comfort <coughs> oh, only teacher. All right. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, what else, people? Well. Let's see, I will give you some more time. And later, I would really appreciate everybody participates. I will, uh, oh, Nival, are you gonna present? <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh, don't forget to bring your electronics. Uh, may I make a list of your electronic device? Uh -huh. uh, that, you, that you should not, not forget. Uh, computer, tablets, cell phone and their corresponding char charger. Also take take a notebook and two or three pens in case you need to take notes. Uh, take a new take a take a universal adapter if you travel is international. Also uh, fuel chairs your kit uh, equipment overnight to avoid Michelle during the day. Uh, so your doc documents, uh, it is es essential that you have, have all, your, all your documents in order, especially if you must leave the country 
Uh, therefore, we recommend that you arrange your documents in advance, checking the validity of passport and visas. For example, uh, what evidence uh, you should bring, yes or yes, uh, power bank, uh, formal and casual footwear, personal hygiene, hygiene items, to expand dental floors, toothbrush and shampoo, for example, uh, word documents, business cards, antibacterial gel, uh, and additional mouth covers, uh, fish ice box, a uh, book to distract uh, you in the boarding rooms, uh, carry on Swiss case, with the uh, essential makeup on some some screen, for example, a single formal dress and make matching shoes. Uh, only teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Niva. Really okay. nice information. Okay, not only about what to do during the trial, like booking a, 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 into a hotel, like seeing the all the services, amenities, and all the stuff, but also taking care of our personal, um, our personal care. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? Well, later I will ask, I will ask once again, okay, don't worry, because, you know, have a lot of info here. <clears throat> okay. And we are just going to see something related to business trips. Okay, listen carefully. Okay, and we're gonna go over to some of the expression we have here, or some questions we have, we have here. Listen, please. Business trips. If you have a job that requires traveling or business trips, there are many things you need to know how to say. I recommend studying the traveler's guide section I have for general traveling needs. But for this lesson, I'm going to cover the things you need to say to the people you are traveling with and questions you need to ask about the business trip. Most of this lesson is primarily showing you a variety of questions you might need. Details. When you go on a business trip, you will need to find out a lot of information. Where are we going for a business trip? Where are we going this time? What city are we traveling to? What is the objective for this business trip? What is our goal for this business trip? What do we want to accomplish for this business trip? What is the primary purpose for this business trip? What day are we departing for a business trip to Los Angeles? How long are we going to be there? How long is the business trip scheduled for? What time is ABC Company expecting us? Who should I report to when I get to ABC Company? People who go on business trips get a daily allowance for food and other small necessities. This is called a per diem. The amount depends on the company, but you should ask how much you get a day. How much is the per diem? How much per diem do we get a day? How do we get the per diem? Isn't the per diem too low? What do they expect us to eat with this amount of per diem? Is the business trip really going to take us all five days? If we finish on the fourth day, can we come back early? I think we could finish a day early. Can we come back on Thursday if we complete our work early? All right. So I think this information is quite 
significant, right? So because it provides clearer information about what to do in a business trip. Now, there are some other questions such as the following. First time business trip questions. If this is your first time on a business trip, then you will have even more questions. If you are not sure what to bring or how much stuff to bring, you can ask your manager or a coworker. How much do you usually pack for a week-long business trip? How big is the suitcase you take with you on a business trip? Do the hotels we stay at have a hairdryer? How many pieces of luggage do you bring with you on a business trip? Where do you usually park when you go to the airport? Is long-term parking available at the airport? How early should I go to the airport? Where should we meet? Should we meet at the airport? I miss my flight. The next flight they have available is in 45 minutes. I'll have to meet you at the airport in Los Angeles. I'll call you when I land. I'll call you when I uh, land. Let's see some more info. Because you're going to use this information. Okay, now listen. Talking to people. Talking to people. Talking to the employees of the company you are visiting is very different than talking to employees. Basically, you have to be polite and formal when dealing with them. Okay, so you Hi, see... Hi, Mark. I'm Alex from ABC Consulting. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> During this stage, you might be engaged in small talk, such as how your flight was or how the weather is over in your city. But if not, then you can get straight to work. You might need to know where you will be working. Only ask this if they never tell you. But chances are, they will let you know before you ask. Where will I be working this week? Where is your office located? Is your office relatively close to where I will be working? You might need to ask who you will be working with. But again, don't ask this too early. You should give them a chance to answer. Who will I be working with this week? These previous questions should only be used in rare cases the other person doesn't tell you. The next couple of sentences are more likely. Who should I contact if I have a question regarding inaccurate data? Who should I contact if I have a question with this type of problem? Going I'm going to... to be calling my manager frequently with critical updates. What phone should I use? How long does it take to get to the airport from here? How bad is the traffic around this time to the airport? Where is the closest place to eat around here? Is there a fast food restaurant nearby? Does this building have a cafeteria? Do you have a cafeteria close by? Right, you have a cafeteria close by. If we may continue, right? We may have some more info here. Eating during the business trip. So what are we going to do? Listen, it's because we are, we're not going to read everything. We're not going to read everything because we have too much info here. I will share the link. Okay, you know, the link, you're going to encounter the link here. In the part that says business trips, and then you go to business trip, first time business trip, talking to people, eating during the business trip, business trip interactive practice. Okay, so what are you going to do? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Veamos, tenemos, okay, exactamente tres grupos. Vamos a tomar en cuenta tres. Let me see. I think we're going to work in three years. Okay? We're going to work in three years. Vamos a trabajar en, en grupos de tres. Okay. Y yo voy a asignar uno de estos temas dependiendo del grupo. Okay. Grupo uno, business trips. First time business trip. Questions. Talking to people. Leading during the business trip. Business trip interactive practice. Okay. No van a trabajar en nada. Solo lo van a estudiar. 
y van a practicar su presentación, porque un grupo va a presentar esto, otro grupo va a presentar esto, otro, el número tres, número cuatro y así. Si acaso el tiempo no nos permite avanzar con las cinco uh, presentaciones, entonces enviarán eh, la presentación al grupo para que todos veamos qué es lo que ustedes han, han incluido. Ok, ¿es it clear? ¿Estamos claros? Ok. Let me see. The link is in the chat. Okay, it's already there. I will stop sharing. And I will create the groups. I told you, right? Like five groups. Okay, here we go. Ya les voy a compartir el tema que les corresponde. Mm, let me see. No, I, I, will, I will let you know now. For example, group number one, Mario, Cristobal, Miguel, Norma, and Chancy. You're gonna take into consideration the first topic, business trips, okay? I will include them in the chat. Look at the chat. So group number one, Mario Cristobal, Miguel, Norma and Jancy, business trips. Ese es el tema. Number two, Aidan, Daniel, and Edgar, first time business trips question. Number three, Juan Fernando eh, and Merlin, because Vera Liz is as a listener tonight, talking to people. Number four, Gladys, Jonathan, and Jose Daniel, eating during the business trip. And the number five, Aníbal, Berenice, and Ronan, Business street interactive practice, okay? So I will create the groups. We're gonna take like five, 10, like, like 15 minutes and then I will give you some time for you to present what you got, okay? A brief explanation about what you did. Here we go. See you soon. 15 minutes, people.
Hello, people. Is everything all right? Michael, Norma, Mario, Chansey. You know your topic, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, no, now. Are uh, you are studying now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so practice because later you're gonna present information. Okay. Good. Third time business week, yes. Listen to answer entire lessons. In detail. Mm -hmm. If this no, but it's just that it's confirmed. Entonces, el 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 tema fue que yo tenía el first time business trip. Okay, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. You belong to group number two, right? Yes. So yes, you talk me, give me a second, because I will check it now. That is first first time business trips questions. First time. Uh, uh -huh. uh, it's yes. number two, right? Number two. Oh, okay. Debe ser. Okay. Now you got it. Daniel? Eh, Hola. El segundo, ¿cuál era el final? El sign business trip. Esa que está ahorita, que ha puesto ahorita en pantalla. Yes, sir. Far ¿Cuánto tiempo nos dieron? Eh, 30 minutos. Uh, I'm sorry, I told you 15. Ah. Ah. So be ready. Ah, okay. it's, it's not going to be like more than 20, okay? So be ready, please. Okay. Okay. To all of the many communicate with someone using speech. The most commonly commonly. Commonly. Used to work for this talk. Pues, buena definición, ¿verdad? ¿Te sí. parece? Sí, sí. Okay. Y le agregamos a la. Bueno, aquí como definición. Sí, sí. Hola, teacher. Hello, Daniel. Sí, solo quería consultarle. Yo venía manejando y no, no, no escuché bien la, la instrucción. Ah, ok, Daniel. Give me a second, please. Eh, ¿Puede visualizar el enlace que compartí al final? Sí. Bueno, ahí va a encontrar cinco temas, cinco topics sí. que están relacionados a Business Trip. Okay. Ustedes pertenecen al grupo número permítame. cuatro. Cuatro. Entonces, ustedes. En la página que yo compartí sería Eating During the Business Trip. Correcto. Bueno, les di la indicación de que lo estudiaran por un periodo de tiempo de 15, máximo 20 minutos. Y que pues nos comentaran qué es lo que hay ahí okay. de información. Okay. Lo que ustedes consideren relevante traerlo en la, en la sala general, háganlo. Ok, Entonces, perfecto. Con consejos, no sé qué, todo lo que van a encontrar ahí, elijan algo que ustedes pues, que quieran presentar en el grupo. 
Perfecto. De acuerdo, okay. teacher. Ok. Gracias. Ahí habla que hay que hacer. ¿Eh? Hola. Teacher, una pregunta. Y en esta, como el que nos tocó a nosotros es como un diálogo. Conversación. Eh, ajá, entonces, eh, pre podíamos presentar los dos diálogos que se nos han brindado. Porque no hay mayor información. Exactly. And also vocabulary presentation. And what you think about the dialogue, okay? So you can include whatever that you consider significant to the group. Pueden tomar lo que usted considera signific significativo, perdón, a la sala general, la, si usted encontró, digamos, ciertas palabras como importantes para aprendernos las, eh, la conversación en sí, a significado de palabras, por supuesto, traten de hacerlo ya en este nivel inglés, inglés. Sí, ok. Ok. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Remember, no more than 20 minutes. Would be like 15, 18 minutes would be enough. Ok, gracias. Aníbal, tiene usted ahí el, el link. Yes. Sí, ya los tengo. Va. <laughs> que la perdió otra vez porque ella me perdió a mí vaya tú sueles empacar para un viaje de negocio de una semana de duración how much do you usually pack for a week long business trip Y de ir contestando de una vez entonces, Daniel. Sí, tendríamos que ir contestando. Lo, lo... ¿Cuánto llevamos de la maleta para una semana? Este... ponemos hay ocho ali Pero a ver. I, normalmente llevo cinco mudas, I usually have five chains. Así me lo traduce el, el, el. I usually have five chains, changes, chains. ¿Cuánto más te lleva cinco? Cinco mudadas, cinco días, una semana. Ah. <risa> ah, y la ropa, es eh, yeah, pues como dije que es de negocio, menos que las cinco son para negocio, más todas las demás de, de uso. <risa> ah, ah, bueno, sí, ah, para ir a pasear o a nadar o algo. Exacto. Bueno, entonces pongamos así. Sí, no sé si siquiera nos dijo el trabajo, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. sí. Ok, entonces podemos agregar estas preguntas. Aquí, quiero ver. Aquí, vamos a ver. Y aquí vamos a las preguntas. Sería preguntas frecuentes. Y después la madre sí. Okay. 
Ok. Y aquí sí lo vamos a agregar. Aquí está. Quiero quitarle esta línea. No sé si es hipervínculo o okay. qué. Ajá. Sí, es un hipervínculo. O está echado. No, ¿verdad? Hipervínculo, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, hipervínculo. Aquí vamos a ver. Sí, hipervínculo. Como ese estoy asignado. Ajá. Eh, no sé, ¿alguna otra? Que voy a imprimir. So, we are to arrive to some time in, not really sure go before. To see. Bueno, que casi todos los soles a que se, no, se me hacía raro. ¿Del primero? Sí, pero como es el nombre del proyecto, dice usted, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. De ahí todas son las que las conocemos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Y en el segundo? En el segundo, a ver. Soy ese es una sugerir, va. Sí. No, igual no hay, no hay nada relevante. Todas casi nos conocemos. Tal vez sería por el, toda la palabra, sería, no, no solo hoy la música. La pronunciación. Okay. No, 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 yo digo como no, no bueno, como todas las que la dijimos, ¿verdad? Yo no encuentro ninguna palabra que, que no sepamos. ¿verdad? ¿Y alguna que le cuesta pronunciarla? Cae toda. <risa> Ay, no sé <conocí> así. <risa> Yo casi no puedo hablar inglés. <ríe> I said you wanna go for lunch. For lunch on Zoom. Bueno, practiquemos either said or yours. Vaya, entonces en el primero me quedo yo con el A y en el segundo usted lo empieza. Ok. Va. Hey, Aníbal. I am asking you on the Tolly project. You have to go to California in two weeks. Uh, what is my objective, objective over there? 
You have to review fancy documents over there. If you find something missing, work with data contacts to get the documents you need to complete the analysis. Uh, how, how large is this project? This project? It's a pretty big, so take some with you, and I think you can finish in a week if two of you are working on it. Uh, do we have to arrive there are, there are um, some time, time? Not Sorry. really, but you should get before lunch to sit in. Then you can get in a half a day. Uh, who should I contact with when I get, get there? Uh, I made you the ties, but you should go bug your flight on. Uh, well, I do. Well, do. Do you have a recommendation on, on who should go, go with me? It is Sir or George. Oh, okay. I'll find it's a job. <laughs> <laughs> I found out uh, who has more time. Great. <laughs> Great. Keep me informed. I got it. Got it. Entiendo, va. Entiendo, va. Sí, como Gary, como lo tengo, o sea, sí entendí. Ok. ¿A quién te dice? Eh, what is my objective over there? Is, over there. Is, eh, over es? there. Ajá, over there. Sí, como Me, cuál es el objetivo. Ah, cuál es el objetivo, pero over there como... Viene siendo ah. como... Vaya, como ahí le está hablando de que va a ir a va a ir a California para presentar porque le asignaron el proyecto. Ajá. Entonces pues, se le pregunta a él cuál es su objetivo. ¿Cuál es el objetivo? Ah, Ajá. Quiero ver. ¿Qué tengo Ajá, que... Ajá. Permítame. Que tengo este chunche. Ajá. Ah. Ah, allí es, eh, entonces. Over there es allí. <ríe> Ajá, por eso que, pues por eso le pregunta, porque ella le dice que va a tener que ir a California en semana, Ajá. y ella le pregunta que, cuál es su objetivo ahí. Y ya abajo objetivo? dice, tengo que revisar mis documentos financieros <ríe> allí, dice. Si encuentro algo, algo perdido, dice, eh, trabaja... Bueno, a ver, with, with their con, uh, contents, con sus, hello everybody, hello, 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 how was everything there, how was it, good, Good experience, right? Hey, and actually, you have like five topics on <laughs> business travels, right? So, you know, there is a lot of information that we are in charge of uh, studying. No, vayan a pensar que se acaba la, el, el curso ahora y, y lo voy a dejar sin tarea. No, todos los temas, <laughs> los cinco temas, los tienen que estudiar a fondo, ¿ok? Primero Dios me los encuentre pronto, o si no es muy pronto, pues el día que me los encuentre les voy a preguntar. <risa> Dice okay. que, di, que cuando a, a uno le gusta el, el inglés, uno no tiene que dejar de estudiar, aunque sea una o dos horas al día. Exacto, sí, por eso elegí esa, esa página, para que ustedes vieran que de un tema, ah, es otra cosa que sí, quiero que lo aprendan, que de un tema pueden surgir muchos, muchos otros temas. O sea... Hay mucho que estudiar. Si decimos cuentos, hay un montón de cuentos. Si decimos business travel, ya vieron ustedes que surgen inclusive Muchas. más de los temas que leí. O sea, no, esto de inglés no se termina. No. Gracias a Dios que no se termina. Ok, Mario, Cristóbal, Norma, en Chancy. Go ahead. Recuérdense, lo más significativo que encontraron ahí. Mario Cristóbal. 
Norma en Chancy. Are you ready? Is Mario Cristóbal here? Well, let's take the advantage of time. We only have like, like 17 minutes or something like that. That is the group number one, right? Mario Cristóbal, Norma, and Jensen. Well, we're going to, I, I will try with the second group. Okay, then I will get back to the number one. Aidan, Daniel, and Edgardo. Sí, ya pasó el grupo uno. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm just, they do not answer to my, to my question, right? So I, I move to the group number two, that's Aidan, Daniel, and Edgardo. Daniel. Okay, hola, hola. Okay, here we go. El, el, el tema era about first time business trip. If this is your first time on a business trip, then you will have even more questions if you are not sure what to bring or how much stuff to bring. You can ask your manager or, or a co-worker. How much do you usually pack for a week long business trip? I usually five chains or clothes for formal meeting and five for informal meeting. How big is the suitcase you take with you on a business trip? Medium size. Do the hotels we stay at have a higher dryer? Yes, the hotel have a higher dryer. How many pieces of luggage do you bring with you on a business trip? Only two pieces, one for luggage and one for carry-on. Where do you usually park when you go to the airport? in the airport parking. Is long-term parking available at the airport? Yes, in the airport are parking a long time. Eh, sí, hasta ahí va. Hasta ahí llegamos a contestar esas preguntas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, people. Great job. And I, I, I don't know, only you are, are going to participate, Daniel? Los tres eh, estuvimos... Eh, ah, the, the three of you. Sí, de leer, sí. Ajá, sí, entre los tres hicimos ahí la, la, las respuestas. Ah, ok, ok. All right. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Then we have Fernando. Veraliza, uh, I think Veraliza is not going to be able to. And Merlin. All right, teacher. Okay. One moment, please. Okay. Okay. This is a presentation. It's for the sample. Okay. 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 The topic is talking to people. Wait. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this word all the meaning to communicate with someone using speech. The most commonly used to work for this is talk. Uh, during the state, 
you mean be angel in small talk. So, um, so uh, who you fly with the or who the winner in the over in the your city, but it not, then you can get strength to work. Your meaning and need to know where you will be working. Only ask the if they never tell you. But change are they will learn it uh, you know before you ask. But change earn will learn you know before ask you ask. And frequently asked questions. Where will we where will I be working this week? Where is your office located? Is your office related uh, close to where I will be working? You might need to ask who you will be working with. But again, that don't ask do early. You should give them a change to answer. Who will be, <laughs> the example, who will be, who will I be working with this week is the simple question. These previous questions should only be using it right in case the other person does tell you the next couple of the sentence are more lady. Example, who, who should I contact if have a question pre Regarding in curious date, who should I contact if I have a question of this type of problem? Who along does is the take to the get to the airport from here? Who bad is the traffic around this time to airport? And whatever. The next question is a uh, essential questions. That's all, teacher. Why well, good. Thank you, Fernando. Uh, you know, if we have time, because we're gonna listen to another group, I will provide um, a couple of pieces of advice to everybody. Let me see. Schools group number number four. Let me see. I will check in here. Group number four: Gladys, Jonathan, and Jose Daniel. Or the thing is. Aiding during the business trip. Uh, right. We got a short review. Mm. Uh, we will make a trip alone. We can eat at any time and in any restaurant. And type of food signs, the choice depends on oneself. On when we travel accompanied we are subject to share during the mail and choice the, pl the place where you can eat. In addition to paying, accompanying, you must coordinate the schedule of each person to be able to live. Only teacher. Okay, what about? Your the other participants. That was it, uh, Daniel. Uh, Jonathan and Gladys, los, los dos. Ah, okay. So you were working mm -hmm. in the same information. Yes. Okay, and we finally we we finally we have the presentation for by Aníbal, Berenice, and Ron. Oh, teacher, it parece que Rona está lo de oyente. Ah, yeah, I'm sorry. So that would be Aníbal and Berenice. Okay. It's just a little conversation, but say that, hey, Aníbal, 
I am a saint. You on the toilet project. You will be have to go to California in two weeks. Permítame que no, no lo tengo. Bárbaro. <laughs> uh, what is my objective over there? You have to review to find a set of commands over there. If you something missing work with the uh, data accounts to get to the documents, you need to complete the analysis. Uh, how how large is this, is this project? It's pretty big, so take some with you. I think you can finish in a way if two of you are working on it. Do we have to arrive there are uh, a certain time? Not really, but you shall get there before lunch the city in. Then you can get in a half a day. Uh, who who should I contact when I get there? I made you the tie, but you shall go book your flight soon. Uh, well, I well do you do you have a recommendation on who should go with me? It is Sarah Josh. Ah, okay, I'll find I find out who has more time. Great, keep me for. I uh, got it. Finish, teacher. Okay, got it. Got it. <laughs> That's the word that you I hear when you were practicing that. <laughs> so that was quite good. Now listen, listen. Just before finishing this this course, let me tell you that I'm really proud about the advancement that you have experienced during the the third level of the of the basic English. Okay. So I feel um, proud and I feel uh, I have reached my goals and I hope that you have reached your goals also. Yeah. And um, you know, um, before telling you what I have in mind, I will I will switch into Spanish and tell you about how important it is for every single, um, act, uh, I mean, every single activity we assign, it's important for you to develop it. Voy a cerrar siempre el, 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 el nivel diciéndoles acerca de la importancia que tiene el hecho de que se reúnan con su docente todas las noches y gasten sus 120 minutos de clase. Ok, sumamente importante que lo recuerden y que recuerden que hay que trabajar la, la plataforma. Okay. La plataforma, sé que se los, eh, se los vivo diciendo continuamente que es necesario que lo trabajen. En realidad no son ejercicios complicados, pero nos ayudan a tener, a tener como ese contacto que necesitamos con el idioma, ¿verdad? y que pues no nos desapeguemos con, de él además de eso nos ayuda a que ustedes tengan su récord en el nivel asignado ¿Verdad? sumamente importante hoy cerramos y espero que mañana pues ya eso esté completo eh, por otra parte quiero decirles que bueno les decía en inglés que me siento muy orgulloso porque He visto avances, ok, he visto avances y pues creo que uno de los avances más significativos es eso de que ya el temor prácticamente ya desapareció, ¿verdad? No es como cuando estábamos en básico 1, ¿verdad? Que en básico 1 pues nos daba mucha pena eh, participar, practicar, pasaron tres meses y, y si ustedes analizan cómo se desarrollan las clases, se van a dar cuenta que pues hoy participan muchísimo más de lo que lo hacían hace dos o tres meses atrás. Eso es muy bueno. Y este, lo mismo, pues les, les pido que lo sigan haciendo con, con la persona que sea el encargado del grupo. Ok. Um, 
y que pues den lo mejor de ustedes, ¿ok? Siempre den lo mejor de ustedes. Y hay algo que sí, ahora que los estaba escuchando, veo que es necesario que, que se familiaricen más, que estén constantemente practicando, y esos son los verbos. ¿Ok? Pasado de verbos, siempre tenemos eh, problemas de pronunciación con los verbos regulares. ¿Okay? Eso es algo que yo, yo se los dije en su momento, si no lo adquirimos ahorita, eso va a ser como una piedrita en el zapato que nos va a estar molestando mientras avancemos. ¿Ok? Entonces, este, si, si eso ayuda, pues mi consejo es mmm, apéguense bastante en la procesión de los verbos en pasado, los regulares. Acuérdense que los regulares tienen... Hay tres pronunciaciones diferentes y hay que estar seguro de cómo pronunciarlas. ¿okay? Lo mismo con los verbos irregulares, que sabemos que eso hay que, hay que prácticamente que hay que practicarlos más por la naturaleza de que tienen, pues que cambian de bring se pasa brought en el pasado participes igual, etc. O sea, hay mucho verbo que aprender y practicar. Eh, la pronunciación, pues veo que estamos, estamos mejorando. Okay. Eh, recuerden, estamos en un nivel básico 3 y hay mucho camino por recorrer. Pero veo que el hecho de que este, estemos recordando la importancia de las cuatro macro skills de leer, escribir, hablar, listen, speaking, reading, en writing, o sea, es importante que lo tengan eh, eh, en mente siempre. ¿verdad? Si usted sabe que eh, se le dificulta la lectura, entonces practique más lectura. Si es el speaking, entonces cada vez que el teacher pida a una participación, no lo dure y, y participe. Si es el listening, entonces ya yo pues creo que hemos visto algunas páginas que, en donde podemos encontrar muchos ejercicios de listening. ¿Okay? Y con la escritura, pues también siempre te, contamos con el, con el PDF y también pues podemos buscar otro tipo de, de ejercicios por ahí en la web. O sea, hay muchísimo trabajo, pero cada quien debe identificar cuáles son sus fortalezas porque a estas alturas ya se pueden identificar ciertas cosas. ¿Ok? Si ustedes se fijan en el grupo, hay unos que participan más activamente hablando. Otros lo hacen a través de, de la lectura, la escritura, ¿ok? Etcétera. Pero este, es sumamente importante que vayan ya empezando a hacer esa valoración de dónde, dónde es que se me está dificultando más aprender inglés. Eh, irnos de frente contra, contra esa dificultad, porque no hay otra manera de hacerla sino enfrentándonos a ella. Así que ha sido un placer estar con ustedes en un nivel más y espero verlos pronto. Si alguien tiene algo que decir o comentar, pues bienvenido sea. Y cerramos el nivel. No me piche, pues le, le agradezco mucho porque eh, ha sido una estadía y y una vez yo le dije que era bien exigente, ¿verdad? Pero <ríe> si, no, si no es así, creo que no hubiéramos llegado hasta donde estamos, ¿verdad? Pero la verdad que eh, me parece que ha sido un buen maestro y, y nos, ha guiado, nos ha guiado bastante y, no, y nos ha dado bastante herramientas para trabajar, ¿verdad? Ya si no trabajamos porque no queremos, ¿verdad? Así que muchas gracias por todo, Ticho. Ok, Aníbal, thank you. ¿Cuál es el módulo que sigue, Ticho? Es el día surprise, va a ser sorpresa, tengan paciencia, ya les va a llegar la... De hecho, no sé si ya se inscribieron o ya les enviaron el enlace para poder inscribirse al nuevo nivel o hacer un, una preinscripción. Parece que hacen una preinscripción, ¿verdad? En eh, la presa donde estoy, pues ya, ya me preinscribieron, ¿verdad? Ya okay. lo están esperando que me manden los, 
lo que le dan a uno al principio, ¿verdad, teacher? Gracias Okay. a ti. Ok. So, so let us be patient, okay? So sooner or later you will know about what's coming in the future. <laughs> Ajá, Michael. Sí, eh, cualquier pregunta les podemos escribir siempre. ¿no? Seguro, ahí estamos. <risa> Seguro. Ah, pero recuérdense que hay un momento que el grupo desaparece, ¿verdad? Sí. Este, pues yo voy a tratar de incluirlos en, 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 en mi listado de personal por cualquier cosa y vamos a estar. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Solo le decimos que es del módulo 3 o 1 o 2. Ah, principiante. 1, 2, 3. No, no, va a ser Cuando tengan avanzados, me escriben, ¿ok? okay. Profe, ¿y su nombre cuál es? No, 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 nos ha enseñado bastante, así como dijeron los demás, pues hay cuestión nuestra que poner el empeño, eh, hay un sacrificio, ¿verdad?, extra ahí que se está haciendo, pero sí muy agradecido por ese tiempo de calidad. Ok, thank you. Exacto. Bueno, pues creo que es momento de irnos a acostar, a descansar un ratito, Las pero... Mujeres. Este sí, por favor, eh, no vayan a dejar de lado lo de la plataforma. Por ahí he, he visualizado algunas personas que eh, necesitan trabajar en ello para que no vaya, su récord no vaya a bajar. ¿okay? Así que, pues, bendiciones y espero verlos pronto. Good night, everybody. Sí, sí. Good night, teacher. Good night, God bless you. Good night, teacher. God bless you. Gracias por todo.